All right, gentlemen. The scientific yeah. community has reached out to us once again. Okay. Why? Swords is why. Swords are very serious business, all right? Now, aren't swords more an artistic creation? They're an artistic creation up until the point where they cut your head off. I see. Okay. Which is th the most scientific thing that can happen to a person. Exactly. That's like aggressive dissection, which is perhaps mean science, but still extremely science. So swords, which are the most scientific tool for vivisection that there is, we have to judge them. And we have to make sure that we're very scientific about it. Yes, and I think when we're talking about swords, we're being... We'll address this as we go, but I think we we care explicitly about swords, not other stuff, swords. We're talking about swords. That's like your actual ass swords. We're not talking about daggers. We're not talking about knives. We're talking about swords. No spears. No lances. None of that stuff. No maces. No guns. No crossbows. No lords. No masters. No orbs. Definitely no orbs. Zero no orbs rocks. here. No mana rocks. And so to start off, we're going to be going to what is perhaps the most generic sword in all of Magic the Gathering, just to get that perfect baseline. Going at it uh, a little bit differently, where we're starting off with something direct, like in the middle of the uncommons here, and then we're going to go back to comments. We're going to be talking about Greatsword. Greatsword yeah. is a pretty great sword. It's mm -hmm. a big sword, and you pick it up, and then you can hit things harder. I, mean, I like Greatsword. There's something to be said about the simplicity of Greatsword and the fact that it's a it's a great sword. It's that's a that's it says what it's on its tin. Now, how do you feel about the spikes on the on the uh, guard there? That seems All like right, that's so possibly a bad thing. The ones that are jutting out from the bottom of it, not cool with. The ones that are jutting out from the top, those are okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm not Doesn't sure really have much of a pommel. It's got its keychain. Yeah, it's basically. If you follow that down, there's gonna be a little Snoopy hanging from it. Mm, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like a Japanese schoolgirl. Or that. <laughs> great sword is definitely a great sword. It's a pretty great sword. It's currently on our list, the number one sword. It, it's the greatest sword of all time. Yeah. Moving into the, un the commons, though, because uh, we're going to be doing this commons, uncommons, rares, and mythics, because there's quite a lot of swords in Magic the Gathering, it turns out. I went through every artifact and every enchantment because just, you know, old cell auras might have sometimes been swords or something like that. I mean, Lance is famously an aura that probably should have been an equipment later on. I mean, that's I mean, how it works. It's but... a Magic Lance. Mm hmm. Right. But anyway. So the first common is, in fact, the Blades of Velus Vel. Which, uh, as a shapeshifter, as a changeling, this is the an honorable mention. We can't really actually judge it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the rule we set for ourselves, that these are explicitly swords, but this is a changeling as a sword. So, yeah, no, it's... Why you gotta hate? Look, I'm not hate, hating. It's just... The changeling, are... changelings will get their due when we get to the shapeshifters. Let's be honest. No, they here. won't, because there's too many of them. <laughs> when we get to the the changeling specifically, the cards with changeling. No, we will get changelings. Probably you not. Don't, you don't know that. Like maybe, like maybe, like I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of a scenario where we would do shapeshifter. We get a grant from the government. We are not getting a grant from the government to do that in this day and age right now. Regardless, I'm sorry. I, I mean, the, hey. Regardless, Blades of Elsvel, sure, they're a sword, but they're also a monger, an advisor, and like, I don't know, they're, a brush they're, wag. They're probably an axe, let's be honest uh, here. Fungus? Fungus swords, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. They're knight Definitely swords? Fungus. Sure. They're ninja swords. They're samurai swords. Oh, that's pretty good. It's got a good true. point. Mm. They're cleric Pirate. swords. Hold on. Those aren't allowed. Let's move on. They are. Uh, next on the list is Edge of the Divinity. 
Yeah. Speaking a lot of people of say that's ed- a lot of people say it's edge of divinity, but no, it's edge of the divinity. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, because it's the edge granted by the divinity of whatever the black pride. white one was. Pride? pride. Okay. <laughs> it's always pride. Don't you remember? It's true. It's the resident white black mage. It's divinity of pride. <laughs> it's the sin you're most known for. Yeah. As far as the Edge of the Divinity goes, though, that is a handsome goddamn sword. That's a pretty good sword. That that yeah. hag is wielding it pretty good. Mm-hmm. That I, black aura is just... Mm, that is some classic flaming sword look, but with that, yeah. uh, you know, darkness, divi- like, divinity spin on it, and I'm really into it. So, I've, I've been thinking about this, okay. and I think as far as, like... Okay, so swords are typically very mundane objects. They're weapons. They they yeah. use them to either stab dudes or cut dudes and occasionally use them to bash, you know. It, typically kind of a, a use of swords in a weird way or very specific swords, but typically for bashing. But, or you know, not typically for bashing, but you can. Besides so the point. I think swords, however, are like the prime, like element for keeping magic in as far as physical like objects go like it's absolutely swords are one of like the top three you got your wands your orbs and your swords exactly technically like, there's also like cups those are another one i go into some people but... cups are but also cups are just open orbs as we all know it's true yeah wow i never thought of it that way yeah it's uh they're negative orbs wow mind freak mm-hmm Man, all right, all right. So yeah, magic swords are good. Yeah, <laughs> I guess absolutely. that's where I'm going with this. <laughs> uh, as far as the abilities of Edge of the Divinity goes, I think this is probably <laughs> one of the weakest of these in this cycle. Because oh, that's there's a great no... one, though. It's great. It's... It's... Plus three, plus three for one. It doesn't need it. It's plus holy three, strength, not holy one. strength. It's great. It's plus three, plus three. Mm, I don't know, but all right. I'm just you saying, though, it, I think... You stick that on a nip, Gwillian, and it's great. That Gwillian could fuck shit up. Let's be honest here. Now, Edge of the Divinity? Lifelink. It's great. But is it worse or better than Greatsword? I mean, it's I, a great sword that's enchanted. Yeah, I, I think it is just better than Greatsword, if you look at it like this. Yeah, I think you're probably right. That is a ghost flame... Well, not Ghost Flame, that's a different one. That's, this yeah. is a weird the darkness, Sword of the Darkness Flame shit going on here. It's a, it's a pretty sick-ass sword. Like, that like that Gwillian looks dope as fuck. Let's be honest here. Sure does. Alright, next on this list, the very appropriately made Flaming Sword. Yeah, look at that thing. That's a Flaming Sword. Yeah. That's definitely a Flaming Sword, and that's a dope-looking Flaming Sword, if you ask me. Yeah, got the the jeweled cross guard here. It's got the cool ass flaming sword, which always looks dope. And and Tongarth can apparently just pull it out like fucking like Wolverine's claws at any given moment. Just like, whoosh, flaming sword. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah. Is there any fl- like lore background to this flaming sword of Tongarth? No. Tongarth. I mean, just I has can a explain sword. the flavor text, but go on. No, don't. Um, sure? No, do. No, do. Please. So, Minotaurus used... It's a, okay, you know the Klingon weapons? Uh-huh. The bat lab. Imagine that, but made of crystal. Uh-huh. Okay. I think it's called a Striva. I forget. But that's it. Well, All right. you see okay. him using it, I think, on Ferocity. He's holding it super weird. I mean... Like, I think his pinky oh, finger's out. Nah, Ferocity's just a sword. I don't know, I mean, whatever. I mean, Tongar's just a very classy lad. Yeah. Does he have two thumbs? Yeah, Tower Minotaurs have two thumbs. Okay, that explains that then. Never mind. Facts. Flaming Sword is super dope. I really like it. I like it, but I don't know. Like, it's 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 more kind of like the sword itself is like flaming. Like, the handle is ejecting a flame. I like the like actual edge that is apparent on Edge of the Divinity. That's right. true. Flaming Sword but, is kind of like a lightsaber of fire, which is less cool. I I don't know. I think there's an actual legend there, too. It's just not very visible through the fire of the Flaming Sword. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm not saying it's better than Edge of the Divinity myself. I would put it directly <laughs> below it, but above Greatsword myself. That, that's kind of where I'm at. Okay. Same. Flaming Sword, congratulations on being the current number two sword. They did it. Uh, number four. I'm going to stop numbering uh. these because I'm immediately going to forget these. It's Flowstone Blade. Now, this, this one's a bit of a controversial thing because we were going through the list and you're like, oh, this isn't a sword. And we are like, this is absolutely, absolutely a sword. It's, it, you, you only convince me by pointing out that there's a handle jutting out underneath there. But otherwise, this was just going to be like, you know, a mantis sickle or something. No, like it's, right. it's, it's kind of. Okay, so he's holding the handle, right? Yes. And then the blade itself is wrapping down around his arm. Yeah, it's like fucking like bio boosted Guyvered him. I don't think that's yeah, actually accurate. That's but a it, thing you just said that I under, I don't whatever. <laughs> no, you understood it. You can't deny it. Uh it's I it's know, basic I it's really it's bio it. merging with armor over his like arm now. Yes. It's becoming part of him. It's which is kind of the minus one thing. It's like eating him to make him better at sword. Right. But at, at, at one point, it was not just fused with him. Someone made it right. and handed it out because there's actually a card that shows that exact thing being happening. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Which I, I will say, like I will also say as a real quick true. pause, things that give swords, not swords. Back. That's going to be brought up later. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I, uh, it's, I mean, it's a good good sword in terms of strength is a very strong sword you can kill somebody with a sword by like oh, yeah. giving them a sword and then being like here hold this sword idiot Ugh, i hope it ate your and torso then the sword chokes them to death yeah mm -hmm. which is pr a pretty pro sword move i don't like it though looks that's gross cool. and ugly i mean it's made of flowstone yeah which is that's just they all look like that I like yeah. how weird, like, the flavor is. Because it does have good flavor in the sense that it eats the dude. And you can make it eat something, like, to death if you're so inclined. And when it eats the dude and merges with them more, they get stronger. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's good flavor. Yeah, that's, this also has two arts. There's a the conspiracy art as well, which is more explicitly just the, the sword eating up that guy's entire arm. Yeah. I like conspiracy art. Souls, come unto me. No, yeah, no. This is the soul edge right here, turns out. Yeah, no. I like, I think as far as like sword flavor goes, this is the most flavorful sword thus far. Other yeah, than Edge, of, edge of the Divinity. It's, it's more it's, flowstone flavored. It's more flowstone flavored. And to be fair, Edge of the Divinity also has pretty good flavor too. Like, because of, like you said, unholy scent and holy strength. Yeah. That's pretty good flavor for the Edge of the Divinity. Um. I would honestly put it above Flaming Sword. I wouldn't. Absolutely I, not. I think I would also put it above Flaming Sword. Y you were weirdos, both it's, of you. It's a solid magical weapon. I'm sorry. I would, I would begrudgingly put it above Great Sword myself, but I would not put it above Flaming Sword. It's just so. Ugh. Yeah, you just exactly have to, unpleasing. You need to learn to embrace the nasty swords in life. I can embrace some nasty swords. I don't want to embrace this gross thing. Well, you bet. Watch out! I'm going to make it embrace you and eat your your sh shoulder. Oh no! Mind freak. Well, uh, next song. Following. Yeah. Hedron blade. Now, now this is a funny sword. Like I like the flavor of this one a whole lot because they made a sword out of a hedron. Yeah, <laughs> and it specifically gets like. It screws up Eldrazi real good, which is a mm -hmm. nice, like, fun flavor. Yeah. The design of the it sword is... Fucks up robots. Hey. It doesn't judge. I mean, the, the, the design of the sword is neat. I, like, I like the look of it. It's weird. It's designed like human weapons on Simicar. Yes. Yeah. So human weapons have hollow spots because it makes them easier to carry when they're climbing stuff. I mean, it they, doesn't. They claim that, but it doesn't. It does, it but um, they, they put a, stuff around it. They put a rope through it. Yeah. Um, it, it. I do like the fact that all they did was they just shoved a hedron just in the hole, and that's like that's it. We're done. Sure. I like the sword a lot. It. It's a neat sword. I like, I like the base design of it. Yeah. It's a neat. Mm, I guess you'd call it a straight bladed saber, uh, oversized, but it's all right. 
I don't actually have particularly strong feelings about Hedron Blade one way or another. Sure. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I think uh, it neat. Yep. Is it better Which than Which is a... all I can really go off of yeah. cuz I don't have swords. Is it better than a great sword? I don't think so. I like it a little more than great sword. Just a little. Like I like the flavor of like it's got like the great sword cuts. Yeah. But like Heater Blade cuts. Heater and Blade cut something very specific and it's been built and flavored in such a way that it is very specific to that purpose. Yeah. All right. and I think that's good. Yeah. This blade. This blade will cut. It will cut. All right. Uh, next is a honed kopesh. Yeah. Talk about the old stuff. Okay. So this is just straight up a kopesh, right? Yes. Almost. It's, it's just sharpened. It's just got a weird, it's, it's like base, uh, like construction is weird for one, but I mean, design it's, wise, it's it's, what do you want from it? Yeah, it's, but it's design the, wise, yeah, that is just a kopesh. It's vaguely got the bolas horns going on, but that's about it. Yeah, they like doing the bifurcation. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. I mean, Magic the Gathering in general. I mean, I, th- I think kopeshes are cool. They are, and this is very similar to another card. Um, but mechanically, it is identical. In fact, mm. but is a kopesh better than a great sword? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Well, let's get in, like, let's call up History Channel. Let's find this out, and let's also find it. out. We'll find out if a hippo can kill a. Like... If I was going to be fighting a hippo, okay, I would prefer the great sword. Now I would lose anyway, but I think I would prefer the great sword over the own Kopesh. Okay. How about you? Either you two? If you were to fight a hippo one on one, is that how we're gonna do this now? I mean, apparently that I was thinking about the History Channel with them just fighting, having hippos fight sharks. You went right to hippo, and it's like, man, I don't know. Like hippos fighting sharks is what I think of when I think about the History Channel, which I don't know why I think about the History Channel at all. But you know, I mean, which would you prefer to have? You would die either way. Yes, I agree. But. What would you prefer to make your last stand with? I guess a honed kopesh would actually you, like you might have some ability to like get out of there. I I mean, sure. So it's... a honed kopesh is a weapon of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, okay. You, 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 if you, you, just... you put us, you put this quandary into more than just the weapon. I think. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because that... now it's versus a hippo. That's not normal. All right, you you are standing against another untrained man, and he grabs a great sword, and you grab a kopesh. How dead are you? I mean, it depends how strong that guy is. Okay, well, you, you you meet a duplicate of yourself, man. Okay, and he's got great teeth. Oh, <laughs> is that the only difference? Oh man. Okay, I think the teeth have got it. Um, if he's got the great sword, he's gonna beat the shit out of me. He's got that reach advantage, all right? But he's gonna tire. He's gonna tire out swinging that thing, though. I don't think so. No, he's got two hands on that. It's not that much heavier. But you just get in there and you start stabbing, I don't think you stabbing, know stabbing. My upper body strength. I I don't know. I, yeah. I, it's not me versus you. It's me no, versus but it's, me. Right. Yeah, but and then in him versus him, it's okay. Look, I think it's worse than great sword. I, I think it's great. <laughs> don't get me wrong, but I think great sword is better. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, also, sure. also, I think it's just a week, a week for like the actual benefit you get from this equipment is actually pretty low for what it is. I mean, sure, but like that, it's a classic it's a, one, though. It's a pretty shitty kopesh. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it doesn't actually give anything. Next up, hey, speaking of which, it's a Leonin scimitar. Now you're talking about one mana equipment that gets plus one plus one with equip one. I this thing looks like shit. What? It sucks. It doesn't it's suck. A, yeah, what's wrong with that? It looks... Uh, okay, look, there's a very fine line between stabity bits and spiky bits. 
and like overusing them versus underusing them or like just making sure they're relatively subtle. I actually really like Lean and Scimitar. Also, it's Mirren, so that's why it looks like that. Yeah. It looks like butt, like every other design in Mirrodin. I like the I like the cat skull pommel a lot on this thing. To, to, to make a retraction, I don't mean to mean that all things in Mirrodin look bad. All things tied to the Leonin in Mirrodin look bad. Mainly the Leonin themselves look bad. The Leonin look they're just covered with like dumb oh, they're, tubes. They're cool. They're cool. I don't particularly enjoy a lion with tubes, it's true. Lions coated in tubes are something I'm not into. Oh, man. Like, look He's at Raksha Golden. Look at Raksha Golden Cub. Our, He's great! He looks cool! No, he doesn't. He's covered he does. with filigree just garbage. He's just like, ah, why are some of my pecs metal? <laughs> some of them. Because that's the nature of Mirrodin! But then they go away from that because it looks like crap when they come back. God. I'm kind of on his side on this. However, I think actually I, I like Lean and Scimitar, visually speaking. <laughs> Lean and Scimitar to me is indicative of that general design. It it like looks like it escaped from the like late nineties because it is. Oh, it definitely escaped from the late nineties. But sometimes escape from the late nineties is okay. Cable probably held one of these swords at one point or another. No, it's not three times the size of him. It only has one blade. He has this is the one he has on his like ankle. And his ankle, like, one of his 32 ankle pockets. One of his 32 ankle knives? All right. And I don't think it's great, but I actually kind of like Lean and Scimitar. Yeah. It's a, like very, it. it's a scimitar. I mean, are great. But it's got the dumb bits you stuff we get caught on on the top. The only... I mean, it's Mirrodin! It's gonna get caught on metal bits anyway! The only part of it I don't particularly like is that section in the middle of the blade where it's got like little teeth in it, but that's okay. It's not that bad. Sure. Everything else about it I'm fine with. Yeah. Including the spiked bits on the fucking handle, I guess. But whatever. How, how do you feel about the cat skull pommel? Like I said, I like the cat skull pommel. I think that's yeah. great. All right. I, I am pro to the open a pommel. bottle. I actually like it more than Hedron Blade. I think I'm with this- you disagree but no i'm with him all right well what if i make the argument that the leon and unmirrodin suck i mean you've made that and i disagree with you so oh see here's the thing i agree with you and i still disagree with you uh your placement on this (laughs) i i agree with you but i disagree with you wholeheartedly (laughs) i I agree with you but also i think you're awful and i hate everything you do all right. All right. Well, now next that... is Magetta's boon, which is it's not a sword. Magetta. It's a dishonorable mention. No, it's not even a sword. It shouldn't even be here. Look. All right. So w- there's a number of things on this list, on these lists, which are included, basically to say this is not a sword. There are four uh, things here. This is to preclude Magetta's people boon. saying you forgot about this sword. I don't think they would even say that though, because oh. the sword isn't called Magetta's boon. It's... All right, so here's the it's thing. It's Vegeta though. giving a guy a sword. Here's the thing. I initially argued that this counted. <laughs> That's on you, not on us. Vehemently was against you on this. Still I, am. I'm with him. Also, yes. <laughs> Look, I, as, much, as much as I enjoy us trying to remember a past argument with Councils of the Sword, let's get to some real mind swords with... Mind swords. All right, now these things, I'm pretty into. They're also not literal swords, but yeah. also they're. Swords. It's it's too fucking cool. I, it's mind swords. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Swords you're, are in your mind, man. And you're cutting the other dude's mind with your mind swords. Mind swords. Mind swords. I don't. I actually really don't know how to rate these. I oh mean, God. okay. So here's the thing. To <laughs> now me, these, cool. these are just. This is two mental lean and scimitars right here. Very similar in design. Nope, not you know? at all. Not at all. But a little bit less spikety. They're better. They're, they're like giant Bowie knives held by a very buff thing in your eyeball. I mean, they have the wrong clip on them to be Bowie knives. But anyway. Mind Swords. Mind Swords is dope. Also, it would be in a fantastic rap album. 
I appreciate the fact that the, the vision of the mind swords in your eyeball took the care to put pants on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, look, I might be like a vision of of horror coming into your mind to like cut away your memories, but there's no reason I'm not going to put pants on. I mean, come on. It's not that kind of horror, you know? Uh, I'm putting Mind Swords above Flaming Sword. Oh, no, I will put it if Flaming Sword's right there. I'm going to put him above Fla- a Flowstone Blade myself. Mind Sword. Mind swords. I could, I could go, I could go with you there. Like I'm right around that area, like the vicinity of flowstone blade or flaming sword ish. Yeah, it's like it's a weird sword. Get, don't get me wrong. Like this is not like a equipment or anything, which Absolutely is not. pretty good. Which is good sword sworditude. Like I, I'll point out, we've, we've been putting a lot of auras on top though, for one. But anyways, so like swords are generally good for putting in something's hand. But as far as weird sword variants go, mind swords. Yeah. How are you feeling, Red? I feel like it's a gross visual metaphor, and I don't know how to rank this. It's a I, gross... I, I still don't know how I feel about them being included, to be honest. But here's the thing. But I'm not arguing against them. It, you know? It's got the word swords in the name. And Lots I think of that's... things have swords in their name. Swords the Plowshare has swords in the name. But look, that's specifically getting rid of swords and turning them into the things on hose, okay? Not We're ranking, all the, ranking all the top pl- hose in that. <laughs> ranking no. all the top farm equipment. Coming <laughs> uh, up at number one, one, it's Sharp and Pitchfork. All uh, right. Again. It is always Sharp and Pitchfork. Do, does, bl- does Bone Saw count for that one? No. I would say so. No. What about the other bone saw? saw? The one, the other bone saw is cutting a tree. But you got farm surgery. Ew. Point. It's got you there. Veterinarians. Anyway. Yeah, whatever. You guys already have a thing. I'm kind of insane. I think it's below flaming sword now because I'm, I'm going to reduce my rating in tribute to my dear friend, Red. I'm still very much above Lowstone blade myself. If if we're going to, if we're on that front, we might have to split the difference. I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like it's not as good as Flowstone Blade. Mm, all right, fine. I mean, you know my opinions. I thought Flame. Yeah, Blade I, know, I, know, Blade, I know, I know, so. I got you. Well, yeah, we know you lost that Battle of Mind Swords, but moving on. But you know what I'm not going to lose the battle with is this Pirate's Cutlass. Oh, man, Pirate's Cutlass is so good. That's it's a, just ooh. a Cutlass. It's just, it's a, just cutlass, a Cutlass, and that's great. Yeah. That, I mean, that's great. Quite. It doesn't actually have a, you know, a D card on it at any point, so it's not quite a cutlass. It it's is actually an Ixalan cutlass. It's an Ixalani cutlass for certain, but it's not a real lifestyle cutlass, which I'm not saying is actually a point against it. I'm just saying it's a little bit misnomed. That's all. I appreciate sure. the fact that those pirate cutlass show up and a pirate just immediately just goes, yoink. <laughs> That's mine. Thanks. I There's think... a skeleton holding it. Oh, Still man. Skeleton. Why didn't we get a skeleton pirate anyways um i like pirates there are ghost pirates in the lore yeah I'm, I'm sure but anyways they're cool i wish they got cards back edge serrations are pretty dope better than front edge ones this one's got a real good blade look into it it's not it's real stout though i don't do know, know i like it a lot though do you know what the benefit of serrations on blades are on boats uh, on boats is because it can saw through rope right yeah. You can cut line, yeah. 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 That's part of why it's definitely, you know, that's good. It's good to be on there. Pirate's Cutlass. Oh, man. I, I like this a lot. Like, I like the flavor of the pirate showing up and just going to ta- town with it. I think it looks cool. It's got a skeleton in it. I'm for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, later on in nat- like the naturalized art for Rivals of Ixalan, there's a dinosaur stepping on it. That's pretty cool. Right. And uh, in German, it is Pirat and Sabu, which is a pretty good name. It's a pirate saber. Yeah. yeah. I am super pro Pirate's Cutlass, and I will put it at least above Flaming Sword. I don't know how strong it is against Mind Swords. See, I like I'm it go... better than Mind Swords. I like it better That's than fair. Mind Swords. Okay. I, I kind of was okay with putting it above Mind Swords. And if I'm going to. <laughs> I, like, I put... like it better than Flowstone Blade. I I'll like it better it than too. Flowstone Blade. Yeah. I, I would actually say I like it better than Edge of the Divinity. 
Disagree mm-hmm. there. I disagree there too. Because the thing about it's there's something to be said for a sword as sword that has a very clear role. The very clear yeah. role of this one is a pirate showing up out of nowhere, just running at you and like stealing and then your junk. And a skeleton gives him a sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he steals your stuff, the pirate, not the skeleton. The skeleton's dead. That's very sad. On the, the other hand, the divinity of pride gave that Gwilian that sword. Yeah. Sure. The hag hat, the hacker. Yeah. I, do, I do like hags. Mm-hmm. I love Gwilians. I mean, if you guys are below Edge of Divinity, that's fine. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll I accept that. Yeah. Pirate's Cutlass, super dope. Now here's the other Exelon sword. This is uh, definitely a sword, but, you know, also very much a hook. You got Prying Blade. Yep. It's here I mean, to pry things off and just hook them out. It's got good flavor about the sense that it, it hits a dude, it pulls the treasure off of them, basically, and you get a free mm-hmm. treasure. That's pretty good flavor. On the other hand, <laughs> I don't like the sword. No? I mean, I would not want to be caught like in a sword fight with this sword. That'd be alright. Honestly, it actually would be fine. It's that like a locker compass. Yeah, that hook isn't really hurting it. it it's going to make it so you can't stab with it, but it's got a hook now, which is useful in and of itself. But I like stabbing. Yeah, if you're if you're pro stabbing, then yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, trust right? me, I'm pro stabbing. But you can use this to trip. You can use this to grapple. It's actually pretty, you know, versatile and useful. Grapple. And I, pretty I don't have any problem. And I don't have any particular problems with hook swords. You know. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Prying blades, all right. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's very inspiring, aside from the flavor of it being pretty nice. But it's all right. Hey, the flavor is the most inspiring bit of all things. Mm, that's true. I'm feeling though that it's probably just above Leon and Scimitar. Yeah, I don't. I'm for that. that. I can. I can. I can deal with that. You can agree with anything being above Leon and Scimitar. Exactly. Like, why do they have to have the dumb like metal bits on the hair? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm, it's true. Like, that's answer that's answer, answer me I... that one with all your mirrored in science. I mean, you can't. Rune sword. Rune sword. Okay. Now, this thing's old as fuck. Are we talking about the rune sword or the hairy rune sword? Talking about the rune sword. Okay. Which so. was a rare in the dark, or uncommon too, but which is basically rare, and a common in Chronicles. So it's over here in commons. It's turned to. It's just a sword that cuts things real good. Yeah, it's uh, got a lot of text on it. That's a lot of text for a sword. Just to say, it's a sword that cuts something, and when you cut it, it stays dead. Yeah, do it's basically. About, do y'all know about the Harry Rune Sword? I know. So some printings of the dark. If you look at the text box, there's actually a hair in it. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the one it. on Gatherer has it. Huh. Mm, all right. Interesting. It's the thing I remember most about Rune Sword. The hair. The hair. Someone just left a hair on it. In the story, That's... the Ragman is carrying it around. Ah, the Ragman. Click it a clack. Get it in my sack. Yeah. So Rune Sword is a good old classic Christopher Rush art. Yeah. It's got like the it... original type of equipment where it's like, oh, it works on this creature for the turn, but if it dies, the sword's gone. Mm-hmm. Which is the opposite of how equipment works. Yep. It's like, while this thing is not good, or it's like, this thing sucks, what if we could make it worse? Yeah, no, it, it does suck. It is six, it's six cost for a negligible effect. Yeah. Six plus three each turn. Yeah. Ugh, it's not very good. No. In I mean, fact, are, it's, a cool look, it's a cool looking sword. Yeah, it's like some it, dark it's master like, sword. It's like Link's sword in the Legend of Zelda cartoon. Kinda, you cut yeah. things and they disappear. Mm-hmm. I, it I makes see what an eight-bit Zelda noise. Sure. Its guard is a pair of demon horns. Sure. It's... The one thing I don't like about it is how spindly looking that that handle is. But other than that, it's all right. It's it's, it's... fantastical looking. Yeah, it does. It is. This is a van-worthy sword. 
Absolutely. This is definitely a Vanable sword. All right. I think this is worse than Hone Cupash. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of with you, but really? Yeah, I mean, Hone Kopesh is I, a sword. I like it more than Great Sword. Hmm. So, but do you more like it's it much? It's got style, damn it. Sure, but do you like it much more than Great Sword? A little bit. I like it's got it's got runes directly on the blade. It's pretty good. I mean, sure. It's crackling with arcane energy. Yeah, but. Sure. You hit an Octorok with this thing, but it just vanishes. <laughs> ah, but I wouldn't want in a fight with a hippo. I mean, I, I wouldn't mean, want any of these in a fight with a hippo. Uh, in a fight Except with Except for hippo, the mind swords, I guess. <laughs> in a battle of, mi- of minds, the hippo may may lose. <laughs> no, the hippo. Would also, me also, the I would say I would totally face a hippo with an edge of the div- div- divinity. Let's be honest here. Mm. I don't know. I would also probably face it with a rune sword, though. That the, the lack of toughness granting means the hippo would probably still kill me. We would probably die yeah. together. The hippo would die too. But yeah, I... but the hippo would disappear and go to that magic hourglass in Ganon's underground. Yeah. Um, All right. Anyways, I'm with you. I think it's about there. Like it, I was gonna say, yeah. it was in that vicinity. But... I don't actually mind that much. Uh, it could be up there. It's talk about that. Yeah. Next on the list is Steel of the Godhead. This card is busted in draft. I like Kirk. how the little dude holding the sword has to levitate and all to hold it, and he's just going. I mean, I think he really it's just a magic sword. Yeah. Now we're talking about visually. I am all about levitating swords, by the way. Kirk. Yeah, but by itself, talking about visually, I do not like steal the godhead. Nearly as much as Edge of the Divinity. Agreed. Sure. I agree. At the same time, he's levitating that sword, which is the, the levitation is pretty good. Like that's key. That's key. I don't here. again, I don't think he is. I think it just naturally does that. That's sure. okay. That's a quality of the sword, then. That's, yes, exactly. It's even more so, you know? I mean I like I just like the fact that it's doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Uh this card is also really good. Unblockable uh-huh. lifelink plus two plus two is a crazy set of things to give something. Hell, one one unblockable is just a thing to give something. Yeah. Also, get lifelink. Sometimes you get white. lifelink too. Yeah. Okay. Man. I really like Seal of the Godhead. Yeah. It's also got steel. 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 But it doesn't have edge. Steel. Like, he, yeah, here's the thing. Steel the Godhead is trying really hard to me to beat out Edge of the Divinity, and it's just barely not doing it for me. I mean, it's up there. I don't know if I'd go quite that high. Like, I'd say it's, it's probably... I'd put it below Pirate's Cutlass, personally. I, just like I would Pirates. be okay with putting it below Pirate's Cutlass, though. I think it's definitively better than Flowstone Blade. I mean, Yeah, you would say I agree that, with that. You would say that, but you're not wrong. Yeah, I mean, you know I... Personally, dislike Flowstone Blade, but I think that's also true even if you like Flowstone Blade. Sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Steal the Godhead. The, the, currently the longest sword, both in the art and also in name on our list. Well, I mean, Kithkin are really small. You don't know how big Leon and Scimitar is. It's tiny. It's like a toothpick. You don't know that. I, I will disrespect it forever. Uh, next on this list is the veteran sidearm. Yeah, which is a sword, yes. but it's a very small one. Short sword. Yeah, it's a short sword. Now, this thing is Pointing. pretty boring. Uh, it is basically a lean and scimitar that costs one more, and it, like, visually is just a triangle. Yeah, what, what, are they, what is this type of sword called? Is this, like, a sequinta or whatever? It is close to a cinquidea. It's not actually quite one. It should be wider for one of those, and it doesn't have any fullers, which is very important to one. But it's mm-hmm. close to a Chinquinea. Do you think it costs one more because of all of the, the styling that Font puts on its stuff? It, 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 it costs it's one tax. more because it's old. It's it's yeah. actually the tax. You have to pay the tax for all the medallions for the those Vant guys. Sigils. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sigil right. tax. Well. I like this worse than Hone Kopesh. 
You like this worse than? Less than. I, I'm willing to put it below Owen Kopesh. Like it's like, very it's not bad. Insane. Like don't don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's just yeah. Bleh. yeah. It's as a card, it is a strictly worse owned Kopesh and also Lee and Scimitar. And also it's not as interesting visually as either of those cards anyway. So just going by those rules alone, it's just it it's not gonna rate. But what if we put it above Leon and Scimitar? No. I mean I wouldn't I like Lin and Scimitar it, more than I don't that. I don't think it can be better than Lin and Scimitar. Like it's kind of strictly worse in every way. But why do they have to put metal in on like the biceps? Like it's just because <laughs> that's how they do things on Mirrodin. Oh, like no, because it, it looks we can it looks start f- talking about mica synth and stuff. Like look, I'm just saying. It looks cool on, like, say, Karn. Karn looks cool. No, sorry, not That's Karn. That's because he's Koth. made of silver. It looks cool on Koth. Koth looks cool. Koth von Hammer. Yeah, Volsok all look cool. Volsok rule. Yeah, Volsok. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lillian and Suck. I mean, in the case of the Volshock, though, it's also not really quite metal coming out of them. So <laughs> Moving so on. <laughs>